Porter Wagoner was born Porter Wagoner Wayne was an American country music singer known for his flashy nudie and Manuel suits and blonde pompadour. He charted 81 singles from 1954 to 1983. He was elected to the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2002. Wagoner was born in West Plains, Missouri, the son of Bertha May and Charles E. Wagoner, a farmer. His first band, the Blue Ridge Boys, performed on radio station KWPMAM. In 1951, he was hired by C. Simon as a performer on KWTO in Springfield, Missouri. In 1953 his song Trademark became a hit for Carl Smith, followed by a few hits of his own for RCA Victor. Starting in 1955, he was a featured performer on ABC TV's Ozark Jubilee in Springfield. Warden, on steel guitar, became Wagoner's longtime business manager. Among his hit duets with Dolly Parton were a remake of Tom Paxton's The Last Thing on My Mind, 1967, The Right Combination, 1972, Please Don't Stop Loving Me, No. 1. 1974, and Making Plans, No. 2, 1980. He also won three Grammy Awards for gospel recordings. His syndicated television program, The Porter Wagoner Show, aired from 1960 to 1981. There were 686 30-minute episodes taped, the first 104 1960 -66, in black and white and the remainder 1966 -81, in color. At its peak, his show was featured in over 100 markets, with an average viewership of over 3 million. Five reruns of the program air on the rural cable network RFD-TV and its sister channel in the UK Rural TV. A spiritual or gospel performance was almost always featured toward the end of the show, generally performed by either Wagoner or Parton or the show's guest star, or occasionally the entire cast. After Parton left the show, Porter began taping the show at Opryland USA in various locations around the park. The shows had a friendly, informal feel, with Wagoner trading jokes with band members and exchanging banter with Dolly Parton and Don Hauser. In 1974, Dolly Parton's song I Will Always Love You, written about her professional break from Wagoner, went to number one on the country music charts. He also hosted Opry backstage during the 1990s on the Nashville Network. Though Parton's departure was difficult for both, the two reconciled in the late 1980s and appeared together with a number of times in the following years. Parton inducted Wagoner into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2002. Wagoner made a guest appearance on the HBO comedy series Da Ali G Show in 2004, its second season, interviewed by Borat Sagdiev. Wagoner was honored on May 19, 2007, his 80th birthday, at the Grand Ole Opry for his 50 years of membership. It was telecast on GAC's Grand Ole Opry Live that day with artists including Parton, Marty Stewart, and Patti Loveless. Grand Ole Opry Live host Nan Kelly was part of the birthday celebration as well. On June 5, 2007, Wagoner released his final album, called Wagonmaster. Produced by Stewart for the anti-label, the album received the best reviews of Wagoner's career and briefly charted on the country charts. A music video was also produced of one of the tracks, a cover of Johnny Cash's Committed to Parkview. He toured during the summer of 2007 to promote the album, including a late July appearance on Late Show with David Letterman. One of these performances was to open for the rock group The White Stripes at a sold-out concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Wagoner was married twice, to Velma Johnson for less than a year in 1943, and Ruth Olive Williams from 1946 to 1986, though they separated 20 years before the divorce. He was survived by his three children, Richard, Denise, and Deborah.
Wagoner died from lung cancer in Nashville on October 28, 2007, with his family and Dolly Parton at his side. Wagoner's funeral was held November 1, 2007, at the Grand Ole Opry House. He is buried at Woodlawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Nashville. Dolly Parton performed a concert at her theme park Dollywood in Wagoner's memory after his death. Porter Wagoner Boulevard in his native West Plains, Missouri, is named in his honor. In 2013, the television show Drunk History presented a brief summary of Wagoner's relationship with Parton. Porter Wagoner was among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Goodbye. Porter Wagoner. Thank you for watching.